This is the perfect bucket list in Notion. Here we just looked at something you're like, yeah, that's pretty. So when it comes to the second brain setup that we have for the building the Notion app system, I did omit one part of it, which is the bucket list. So I think bucket lists are something that's like an idea you capture like, oh, I wanna do this one day. And having a nice bucket list section really set your days apart from other people. If you wanna have all this implemented for you, really quickly, you can get the Notion app system right now at riseproductive.com. When you get that, you'll also get my Mastering Notion course, which will have four hours of value and content of how to master the software. It will also have all the future updates when I show you how to use the API. And if you don't want to do that, you can also just get a one month free trial and check out Mastering Notion on Skillshare. Absolutely free. More info in the links down below. So in here, what I did conveniently leave out was an example of a uh, bucket list. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this content ideas page, go down here, change this icon to a bucket and call this bucket list. Then when I make a new item here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rename an idea bucket to a uh, bucket list. Okay, and make it blue. Now, those of you that were with us in the last one, what we can do is you can take this content idea, move it into bucket list, and then from here, move it into all this stuff. So just keep filtering to idea bucket is bucket list. And then for these specific sections, we can do the exact same thing. So what I really like is a, a fun little setup for a couple different things. So if we go in here, I'm gonna add some ideas from a tag perspective. So sub bucket, uh, we're gonna change this interests to blue because that's more so the bucket list and maybe even uh, the health one as well. All right, so now the tags part of it, it's gonna be fun. So some example tags that I have, <laughs> looking over at my example one. So uh, purchases, we got blue for all of these. So let's go recipe to try, restaurant, food, movie, TV show, book, coffee shop. I can take all these and add a little blue to them because this is sort of the category they're in. And this is a great example of how the tags would work in the second brain system. Now, take these, and then we make some categories here. So I'm gonna make a top section that I'm gonna call entertainment. So slash call out, do emojis, and then let's do like a ticket. All right, so I'm gonna call this entertainment. Cool, now I'm gonna just casually make another section below this, duplicate this, we can call this food and drink, food and drink, and do a food one. So like the dinner plate, sort of dinner uh, plate, that emoji, yep. And then I'm gonna change this name over here to TV shows, change this to movies. You see where I'm going with this. So then we duplicate this over here. Call to move these into different spots. Okay, so we get coffee shops. Start changing some emojis here. Coffee, change this one to restaurants, food. And you can categorize this in so many different ways. So currently how these are actually filtered is pretty funny. It's like a content ideas podcast, but you can instead change that to a uh, uh, bucket list, like what you want to listen to, right? So it's categorizing it under a different bucket. So then I'm gonna actually just like recopy these because uh, I had these earlier. I'm gonna just dupe these. And then for the current ones, I'm gonna filter this to, it's not just bucket list, but it's also an interest of mine. Same with this, it's also an interest. And then the last thing is I'm gonna do and tag contains movie. And the same thing here. And tag contains movie and then we can do that same filtering so right here it'd be in the bucket list it's an interest the tag contains movie or tv show sorry and then same thing for the all ideas one idea bucket is bucket list it's an interest the tag contains movie now you can set an entity itself like a new tv show for example as a content idea that's the cool thing about the system the reason that we're filtering in all these different ways is if I, for example, set a podcast to something, it could also then become a podcast idea for myself to talk about for a content calendar. And that's like how the whole relation system works and how that like archive status works if you've watched the previous module. So we're gonna do the exact same filtering over here and tags contains movie. And then for these, for this YouTube one and for this podcast one, all we're gonna adjust is the filter on this from bucket list or from a uh, yeah, content idea to bucket list. And that's pretty much it. And an easy way you could obviously assign this YouTube video idea to not just being something that you would consume would be as if you change the select property to a multi-select. So that's pretty much your preference on it, right? Like, is it containing a bucket list, but also like a uh, Matt Diavella new video could be a bucket list to watch, but also a content idea. So that's, that's the thing to think about is now for this, how we'd filter it would be to, you know, the idea bucket contains bucket list. So it doesn't matter if it also is a content idea, it's not gonna get rid of it because like 
it's two ways you're looking at it. However, doing that would break a lot of fil uh, filters, just FYI. And then the same thing goes for these, right? All I gotta do is copy some of these examples, then filter to some of the tags, like have the coffee shops, have the restaurants. And then a really fun thing you can do is utilize this on the go. So it's like, if you're sitting on your couch, you can be like, yeah, I don't know if I really wanna watch this show or this show, or I don't know where I wanna go out to eat today. And it's a great way to capture it. You know, you can capture on the go, like in a mobile view for specific things like restaurants you wanna go to. And then it maps back in your Notion setup on your computer. So we just filter once again to these things, restaurant, interest, Yep, and then do the same thing for coffee shops. So now check it. Anytime I'd mark down a coffee shop idea, it could populate in theory on your phone. I know that I have it set up for my own personal workspace. It's something really cool. Like right here, you go to my second brain, go to the bucket list section. I have a lot of really cool movies and stuff that I want to watch. I just sat down one day, added all of these really quickly. Uh, in here, I actually have it marked. So where can I watch it? Oh, HBO Max. Now, if I go to my phone and I go to bucket list, how I have this set up, is that there's the entertainment and food section, and then I have some toggles. So it's like, mm, I sit on the couch, uh, I wanna watch a TV show, what do I wanna watch? 3%, isn't that that show about like where only 3% of kids are allowed to stay alive because of the population control? Cool. Breaking Bad, where do I watch that? Oh, Netflix, all right, let's do it. So very quick and easy setup, very fun, connected to your second brain, and also connected to this video and how you can improve your productivity even more.